What I'd like you to do right now is just browse the story. We know the title is Rugby and Rosie. So I just want you to kind of look at the pictures. One second, Eric. Flip through the pictures. Study the pictures. And start thinking about. Start predicting what you think this story might be about. And maybe some of the events that you think might take place. This is the first day that they will have been exposed to the story. And so I'll begin by browsing the story and making predictions, just based on pictures alone and based on the title. And that will get them motivated and ready to begin reading the story. So any ideas? Any raise their handers would like to make some predictions and share with us? What do you think is going to happen in this story? What do you think is it's about? About two dogs. You think it's about two dogs? Okay, very good prediction. Minnie? About two friends. Do you think the dogs are friends? Okay. Good. Diana? They're a friendship because they share and they play together. Okay, it's about friendship so because they share and they play together. We can see that in the pictures. Eric, you said that you saw something interesting on one of the pages, that the dog had something written on it. What page was that? 73. 73. Everyone turn to 73. And the white dog. What does it say, Eric, on the on the it white says, dog? I'm a, I'm a guiding, guiding eyes for the blind. blind. Guiding eyes for the blind. What do you think that might mean? Maria? The dog knows where it, 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 he's gonna go. The dog knows where to go. Okay, so the dog is is guiding or leading the boy. Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Well, let's go ahead back to the beginning of the story where we see the title. Those were some excellent predictions and they really make me wonder what's going to happen in this story. Will you read along with me on 64? Can you put your magic pointer fingers on the word rugby? Okay, we're going back to the beginning of the story. Put your magic pointer finger on rugby. I want to hear everyone reading with a nice, quiet voice, but reading aloud, okay? Here we go. Rugby is my dog. He is a chocolate Labrador. And we have had him for as long as I can remember. Then Rosie came. Stop there for a second. You know, good readers have questions that pop up in their mind all the time. And for me, when I read that first page, a question came up immediately for me, which was, who is this Rosie? I used to be best friends with Rugby until then Rosie came. So a question that pops up for me is, who is Rosie? In terms of getting students to be able to use some of these comprehension strategies on their own, what I like to do is model for them how to use these strategies. For example, asking questions. If I stop and ask myself questions and show the students that, oh, you know, I don't understand what's happening at this point in the story, so I'm going to stop and, and think about that. And I know that as I read the story, that that question will be answered. But it's okay as a reader to stop and think, hmm, who is this Rosie? And why is she coming to stay with them? We've been working on asking questions with every story. We use that comprehension strategy all the time, but it's a difficult one for them, and it's one that we have to practice all the time. They would be best friends just like Rugby and me. Hey, did anybody have any questions that came up when you read that page? In preparing for the strategy of asking questions, I decided to put those different comprehension strategies on little sticks and thought it would be motivating for the students if they are using that strategy, then they get to hold the stick in conversation while having the discussion. And that seems to, to work effectively. Why didn't um, Rugby? Rugby want to be friends with Rosie. Why didn't Rugby want to be friends with Rosie? Okay, excellent question. And he used an asking word. His asking word was why. Why did Ru Rugby was in a bad mood? Why was Rugby in a bad mood? Okay, very good question. Okay, I'll come back to you. We need to read on a little bit. Okay, let's turn the page and go on to 66. Put your magic pointer finger on I. Okay. 
I knew all this before Rosie came, but Rugby didn't. I held the puppy out to see him. Maybe he thought I didn't love him anymore, which wasn't true. So does anyone have any questions about that page? Anyone have any questions? I have a question that comes up. I'm thinking to myself, here's this adorable, cute little puppy, and why doesn't Rugby want to play with this puppy? I thought dogs like to play together. Why doesn't Rugby want to play with this cute little adorable puppy who just wants to play? What is Rugby thinking? What is he feeling? That's a question that comes up for me. And we'll find out if they become friends as we read on angry. tomorrow. He looks like it. angry. He does look angry in that picture, doesn't he? My goal is that they receive a lot of modeling and a lot of practice with these skills, whole group, and that I can scaffold them down to using it in a team with partners and then eventually be able to use all of those skills and strategies on their own as they read independently.